Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This Hi. is the Bounder BB Show in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? This is Dan Michael with Men's Health Magazine. How are you? Well, Dan Michael, thank you so much. I'm so excited to talk with you. I wanted to, and my audience wanted to hear about your uh, survey that you did. Sure. So it's a survey conducted by Men's Rogaine, and essentially what it did is it measured, measured perception as it uh, per pertains to a political candidate's hair. And what the survey found was that more than half of Americans associated a full head of hair with positive virtues like youth, confidence, and even trustworthiness. 64% um, said that they would give a political candidate a hair makeover if given the chance. Uh, and if a political candidate would change their hairstyle, a third of Americans would as associate that with a tendency to flip-flop on political issues. So uh, the survey is very telling, and it shows that um, you know this election, uh, while you know very deeply rooted in the issues, uh, also has uh, you know a little bit of something to do with uh, our candidates' appearances. It does. Okay. Did anybody know that? And I haven't done my homework totally, but I, I, I did very well in history in college. Anybody that came to the presidency, they were never bald. They may have gone bald after, but they were never bald when they got the job. It's very interesting. I, I would be totally interested to learn more about that. It's also an interesting trend that almost every president, and I also can't say this with total certainty, but almost every president before 1900 had a full bushy beard. Uh, and now you don't see any beards on Capitol Hill. So that's uh, also a very interesting trend. Uh, Ooh, Men's, Health, Men's Health Magazine actually conducted a survey uh, that wasn't political in nature, but it showed that women find a five o'clock shadow or stubble to be the most attractive facial hairstyle on men. Uh, and that's something that, you know, is a little bit of an actually a tricky look to pull off. It's something between clean shaven and a beard. So you will, you'll need a specialized tool. Uh, Conair has two new products that are uh, meant specially for that. It uh, uses a guard to prevent uh, cutting too deep or too long uh, to give you a nice consistent look. It's kind of a cool rugged look that looks appropriate with a suit as well as with uh, a t-shirt and jeans. But you're right. It's it's really hard to pull up. They've got they've got this guy on a commercial on TV, and he just looks like he's just messy. He doesn't look. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't look cool. So it it you you got to pull that off really really good. Okay, are we talking about hair because of the presumptive nominee for the Republican Party? This was spurred the survey. It's definitely been uh, a big talking point, but I think Rogaine really just wanted to get down to, uh, you know, how much hair has to do with confidence, not only confidence that comes from within, but also the perception of confidence from the outside. And I think it, it just goes to show that, uh, you know, there are some real world implications because uh, these feelings will inevitably translate in a job interview, uh, on a date, something like that. So, um, you know, hair, both on your head as well as on your face, both affect uh, the way you feel about yourself, the way that others feel about you. It's just a matter of finding the right tools to make the most of uh, the hair that you have. So for your, you know, if you're going thin, uh, which is very common in men over 25, you might use something like a twice daily foam uh, like Rogaine. Uh, and then if you uh, really want to pull off that kind of effortless, cool facial hair look, you would use uh, a specialized trimmer with a guard uh, like Conair. Uh, both of these models are actually rechargeable and one called the Super Stubble is actually waterproof. So you could use it in the shower if you wanted to save time. All right, then. I'm going to go on record here and say this is why Bernie Sanders could not get elected. Cause uh. He doesn't have all his hair. I know that sounds so biased, doesn't it? <laughs> no, well, that sur this survey would, would support that theory, so I don't think you're too far off. 
Okay. Do, you got any more products for me? Because, you know, Father's Day is coming up, and, and we want our guys to look good. Now, some guys just live the rugged look all the time. Absolutely. And some other guys like me, I have to, you know, really work at it. So, you know, I think that if you're going to help your dad, uh, you know, look really great this Father's Day, uh, that, you know, Rogaine.com uh, to buy Rogaine would be great. And Amazon.com where you can find these great Conair trimmers are awesome. You can also find really great Father's Day gift guide ideas as well as um, grooming and style tips and tricks at menshealth.com slash style. Dan, Michael, you were fun to talk to. I love this topic. Thank you for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. And can we see this in your upcoming edition of Biz Magazine? Thanks so much. Uh, you know, I'm not sure the, uh, the June issue is on stands right now. Uh, these particular items are not in there, but if you go on our website, menshealth.com, you'll find these and a lot more products and some good tips and tricks from a lot of industry experts. Dan, Michael, thank you for being my guest. Thank you.